Helmsman trawlers are well built from the keel up. We are highlighting in a series of short videos some of the features and construction methods that distinguish these finely crafted boats. In this episode, we're looking at Helmsman trawlers' hull construction. The hull is, of course, the thing that most fundamentally defines a boat and which keeps you on top of the water, not in it. So how it is made is vitally important. As you'll see, strong and tough are apt words to describe our hulls. Here we are specifically illustrating the hull construction of our 37s, 38s, 43s, and the new 46. The hull of the 31 is somewhat different because of its smaller size and lighter weight. These hulls are of solid fiberglass construction, meaning that there is no coring material. The hull is built by laminating distinct layers of various types of fiberglass, cloth, and mat according to a layup schedule like you see here, in conjunction with many applications of fiberglass resin. This creates a composite structure that is reinforced and strengthened throughout by the cloth and the mat. Construction begins with the hull molds, the so-called tooling, and by application of the outer layer of gel coat, which defines the final color of the hull unless it is to be painted at a later time. Atop the gel coat, the lamination of fiberglass and resin is performed to successively build up the hull to its specifications. This is done by hand, the cloth and mat being manually and painstakingly laid into place and the resin applied with paint rollers. The process of laminating a hull takes weeks. No shortcuts, such as the use of chopper guns, are taken. Let's take a look at the result of all this work. Here's a core taken from the hull bottom, about three feet away from the keel. And here's a section of the transom. These solid chunks of composite fiberglass are surprisingly heavy. With the hull still inside the mold, the stringers are created in place. They are pieces of foam laid precisely and then fiberglassed over to create a very strong beam type of structure to stiffen the hull. Note the black sections in the stringers. This is where the engine will be installed, so strength and a rigid mounting are critical. We do not use wood, which is commonly employed by other builders for this task. If you've been around boatyards and surveys of used boats, you know that wooden engine bed stringers are not uncommonly the source of problems. Inadvertent water intrusion for any reason can lead to rot and expensive repairs. For this application and a few other critical strength areas on our boats, we use Kusa board, a non-rotting, strong, and stiff structural composite. After the stringers are laid, the cross members are added to complete the structural grid, and then interior bulkheads are installed. It should be apparent that this is a very strong structure. When removed from the mold, we have a completed hull, which is then joined to the deck structure, and the build process moves to its next phase. <laughs> 